of those. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Oh, I think you've got enough here. Okay. From yeah. up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to be in the great outdoor forever free. It's a nice, cool, foggy morning here today. We are gonna be getting some really cold weather here in the next few days, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. We are definitely gonna freeze. It's got um, temperatures in the 20s for our lows, which I feel like, gosh, that's really early this year. We'll do what we can and keep growing what we can. Um, hopefully it'll only be freezing temps for a couple hours. The fall colors are looking gorgeous. Loving that change and really enjoying the cool weather. So we're just doing, there's not much prep for us to do as far as um, freezing temps prep. We already detached all the hoses, those types of things. Um, the only thing we're really gonna keep an eye on are the animal waterers and we'll see how that goes. Baby chick update. Look at Chick in there. Chicken, haha. <laughs> Chick is doing really well. We are hoping it's a hen. <laughs> Getting the smoker going? Yeah, I'm having problems with it. The auger is stuck or something that's not being balanced. Oh no. I think the, uh, what, no, that's smoke now. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, the auger got stuck because I guess, you know, moving around, shaking around, it got packed all the wood pellets in there. Just got it jammed. Had to pull them all out and free it up. It's a beautiful morning. We're bringing a little bit of smoke out here. About a big brisket a week or two ago. Just and we cut it up into pieces so that we can smoke. We won't be able to eat a whole brisket ourselves, but we're gonna use this piece for some chili because it's gonna be a cold week and chili is just a nice comfort food. Right, baby? I've got a bunch of dehydrated peppers here. These are all spicy Chinese five color peppers. Um, I sliced them and then dehydrated them. Dozer, stop whining buddy, you're fine. So you can see here, I got them sliced and dried out really nicely. There's some sliced jalapenos, but I think I only had two or three of those in here. I do need to process jalapenos, but I'm starting with the five color peppers. I'll show you the large amount that we have. Where are they? This bowl has a couple banana peppers on top, but is completely full 
of Chinese five color peppers, which are these right here. They're beautiful, they're spicy, and they're very prolific. I don't think we need to grow any of these next year. So I've started the process of processing all of them. And what we're gonna do is grind them into powder to use for recipes. Probably gonna put a mask on when I grind these and open this to transfer into the jar because this would majorly irritate my throat and lung lining. for a minute, jar it up, and then I'm gonna start the process of dehydrating more. I also have been fermenting peppers, which I um, will probably do more fermented peppers as well, um, but this is a really good way, and you can see it makes it nice and compact. Nothing's going to waste. We're able to use this then in recipes for chilies, marinades, anything that you wanna spice up a little bit, and this will last a really long time. Go back to your friends. Oh, you escaped, huh? What are you doing? Escaped artist. <laughs> what I got here? We have an escape artist. Eat radishes. Gosh, they're huge. That needs to get washed so that we can put color in it. Okay. Look at this radish. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this one. It's like an apple. Yeah, I know, they're big. Look at these radishes. It's like as big as an apple. They're massive. Normal radish versus massive radish. <laughs> Got a bucket full of radishes. We're picking all of them because they're ready now. Something we've talked about a bunch is succession sowing. We are definitely gonna be succession sowing next season. Once again, this space was established a little later in the season. And so we just wanted to get a bunch of stuff planted so that we can offer some stuff to customers as well as have produce for ourselves before we get into winter here. So the goal with su succession sowing for next year is basically that we'll plant say a row down the center of radishes and then a week later plants another row and then a week later or even two weeks in between we'll plant successions of that crop and that way we're not harvesting everything all at once without anything following up behind it. A whole bucket of just this is just a ragged jack and then I'll put I'm gonna go lost and outer next on top. Got some good looking beets coming in. There's a golden beet over there. Looking great.
Washing these vegetables brings us to something that we're trying to currently figure out. Wow, that's heavy. Is washing a washing station for produce, especially when we're talking about next year, production for next year, as well as like safe handling. So things you just don't think about is the fact that we use this sink for garden stuff. We use this sink for animal stuff. So cleaning animal dishes, um, processing day, you know, we rent buckets in here, blood buckets and things like that. All of that we have to consider when we're washing produce here. So sanitizing, even as far as making sure, you know, our hands are washed and things before we're picking uh, vegetables for customers. All of that is super important um, to remember. So yeah, figuring out the wash station and packing definitely needs some table, something or other going out here, going on out here. We do have that down there, which is like a table that comes off the side of this, but it broke off and it would need to be welded back on. Um, it's steel. So we're gonna see about putting that back up but yeah, definitely trying to figure out how to best and most efficiently use the wash station so that it flows. Like right now I've got these here in this tub, which is clean, and I need to rinse all the dirt off of them, rubber band them, and then put them in something else that's clean. So, you know, what does that look like and how do I make that happen? And right now it's just, like I said, figuring it out and trying to to come up with a system for this process. As well as like with the kale. So if we wanna rinse the kale in the metal sink here, we're gonna need to clean that cause like I was just cleaning animal bowls with it. So it's all those types of things that we're trying to get situated and develop systems for. That is a giant radish. in this bucket because I know this one is clean other than the dirt I just rinsed out which is on the vegetables already um, I cleaned and sanitized this bucket before I started using it so I'm gonna go ahead and dump them in here wash them off get them into bunches and get those ready to go Radishes are done and packed up. These are actually cabbage greens that Jose thought maybe I planted collard greens. They look very similar, but those are cabbage greens. And then we've got our rubber bands. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff up to the house and then maybe we'll talk about wash station. All right, it's time for some lunch. Got some burgers here for Jose and I, some nice fat burgers. Oh goodness, 
I've been trying to do some intermittent fasting, but I did not intend to wait till one o'clock to eat today. I'm starving. We got burgers over here. There's our chili pepper powder that I'm working on. I've been working on cutting up more Chinese five colors. They take forever because they're teeny tiny, as you can see here. Um, I do cut them in half just because I think that'll save time on drying. Don't need to have the fridge open. Do you want barbecue sauce, hon? Okay. Figured I'll show you guys. My wheels have been turning about, you know, the wash station and packaging and storage. It's a little overwhelming thinking of all the different things logistically that we need to figure out for next year. As you can see now we have a bunch of produce in the fridge here, which this is not ideal. We'd like to have separate storage for customer stuff. Um, but this is what we're working with right now. So just something we got to figure out because we can't have our own fridge full of produce all the time. Um, and there's definitely just not enough storage in here for that. Thinking about sourcing a refrigerator or two. Um, I've been looking on Marketplace for something used, which would be preferable. We don't need something fancy. I actually really prefer those older, the older style refrigerators that have a lot more space in them that don't have like the separated freezer here um, on the side, like side by side, just seem to have less space. So I don't know. So it's all the things that we're just trying to figure out right now. And I was gonna grab something else for the burgers and cheese. And then we've got fresh arugula for our burgers. Tonight, I'm doing some of our pasture-raised chickens. I'm gonna do those in the oven, get the skin nice and crispy. And then one of my favorite cookbooks is Six Seasons. I loved it, it is organized. You can see the different colors there. It's organized by growing season and what kind of produce you would have in that season. A recipe I'm gonna share this week on the website is going to be these roasted radishes with brown butter, chili, and honey. Got some of our radishes here. I actually made this last night. I'm going to make it again tonight. I'm going to do, like I said, um, a blog post or recipe post on the website and share it with you guys, just the steps and any changes that I made. Um, but yeah, super excited about that. It's delicious. We're going to try and share more. Our goal is to share more about how to use the produce that we grow and the even the chickens and the turkey, so different recipes and such. So keep an eye out for that. If you haven't joined the website, definitely, I say join, but all it is is really to put in your email address and you subscribe to our newsletter. I update the news, I send a newsletter out once a month um, to anybody that subscribes. Just giving farm updates and announcements. I'm gonna start sending more often, but not annoyingly so. Just when things are new on the website that I think you know you guys might be interested in. So if you would like to be subscribed to our email list, please go to the website, Heavenly Acres Farm TN for Tennessee.com. I'll put it down here. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to that. Lunch. Our fermented pickles, homemade barbecue sauce, our arugula. Our pickled red onions, under there is our beef patty, and some homemade mayonnaise.